During his audition, the French epidemiologist Didier Raoult is set to answer a series of questions and explain, for instance, why he decided to quit the High Scientific Council at the very beginning of the crisis or how he was able to test so many people in his hospital in the south of France at a time when the entire country was struggling to find enough tests. He's also set to keep on defending his protocol against COVID-19, which is an association of azithromycin and hydroxychloroquine. Very early on, uh, he put together a, a clinical trial trial uh, to uh, see if the molecule could be effective against COVID-19 and it was very criticized because of its methodology but now he keeps on saying that this is indeed the best option and that all the other clinical trials uh, that have concluded to the fact that the molecule had no effect on people with COVID-19 were actually wrong and that none of them uh, followed his protocol precisely. For instance, the UK's clinical trial recovery uh, gave four times the dosage that he had put in place uh, to, to patients with COVID-19. French hospitals decided to prescribe it to people who had a severe case of COVID-19 when indeed he had said that the molecule should be given at the very first symptoms before the cytokine storm. He uh, is also expected to uh, say things like the fact that if um, French authorities had had the courage to uh, prescribe and authorize this molecule, then uh, the number of deaths in France could have been cut by half. Now, this comes at a time when experts are struggling to say which indicators should be looked at to evaluate whether France uh, did a good job in handling the crisis. Uh, is it uh, the lethality rate, the mortality rate, or uh, the excess mortality? But no matter what, uh, experts on an international level are already starting to point to the poor performance of France uh, in handling this COVID-19 pandemic.